Matit Yahu, Matthew 19. And it came to pass that when Yahusha had finished these sayings, as he departed from Galil and came into the coasts of Yahud beyond the Yardan, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Parashim also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his woman for every cause? And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his woman, and they too shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more two, but one flesh. What hath therefore Yah has joined together? Let not man put asunder. They say unto him, Why did Moshe then command to give a writing of divorcement, and to put her away? He said unto them, Moshe, because of the hardness of your hearts, suffered you to put away your women, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his woman, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, breaks wedlock, and whoso marries her which is put away, breaks wedlock. His Talmudim say unto him, If the case of the man be so with his woman, it is not good to marry. But he said unto them, All men cannot receive this saying, save they to whom it is given. For there are some eunuchs which were so born from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men. And there be eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of Yahweh's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the Talmudim rebuked them. But Yahusha said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of Yahuwah. And he laid his hands on them, and departed thence. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good Rabbi, what good thing shall I do, that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why do you call me good? There is none good but one that is Yahweh. But if you will enter into life, guard at the commandments. He said unto him, Which? Yahush, rather, Yahusha said, You shall do no murder, you shall not break wedlock, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor at your father and at your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I guarded from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahusha said unto him, If you will be perfect, go and sell that you have, and give to the poor, and you shall have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Then said Yahusha unto his Talmudim, Amen, I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a rope to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. When his Talmudim heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Yahushua beheld and said, 
unto them. With man, this is impossible. But with Yahuwah, all things are possible. Then answered Kepha and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed you. What shall we have therefore? And Yahusha said unto them, Amen, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the restoration when the son of Adam shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Yashara'el. And everyone that has forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or woman or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first.